Hello, good day to me, Andy, and talking really, and hot off the press today. You remember this guy when uh, he was in office in the health service, uh, whatever it's called, HS, whatever. Uh, basically, he said to the Commons when asked about vitamin D that there had been trials made and uh, it was found to be ineffective. He's a liar, basically. He lied. We know, he, we know he's a liar. We, he's lied before, he's lied again, and he is still lying, even now. So, we've got a NIH, which is a National Library of Medicine. This is American, uh, basically PubMed Central. This is where all of the peer-reviewed studies are, can be found. And uh, interestingly, you'll notice that uh, they have done a test of vitamin D and the immune system. Let's have a look. So here is the article. As you can see, the date at the top of the screen is 2011-2012. So they knew full well nearly 10 years before the whole thing happened and of course the whole thing when he lied in Parliament because they've done a test, a scientific review and of course it does go on a little bit but you can see that Vitamin D has also been used unknowingly to treat infections such as tuberculosis, which I didn't know, I didn't know about that. Uh, but, so, you know, the evidence is quite clearly there have been many studies about lupus as well. That's quite interesting. I didn't know that either. So it does... Uh, it does have various numerous effects on cells within the immune system. The uh, data is all here with lots of scientific stuff that I don't really understand too much. But we can read the conclusion. Cells of the immune system are capable of synthesizing and responding to vitamin D. Immune cells are responsive to the ameliorative effects of vitamin D, suggesting that the benefit effects of supplementing vitamin D deficient individuals with autoimmune disease may extend beyond the effects on bone and calcium homeostasis. Scientific data, scientific fact that cannot be disproven because it's there, it's on the well-established, well-known NIH. So, how much more evidence do you need? What the evidence you need is based upon him lying about it, saying that there have been no tests done. When, quite clearly, 2011 is at least 10 years prior to, to actually when he will ask this question. Unless, of course, he genuinely didn't know, <laughs> which I very much doubt, because I've just done a Google search and it came up. So, quite clearly, if I can do that, and I'm not a medical professional, I'm, I don't, I'm not in the government, I'm not a health service uh, boss, but I've done this research and basically come up with this and proven that he is a liar. So there you go, that's the story and uh, nobody can refute it because it's true and it's actually factual. So there you go, have a good day and don't forget, like, share and subscribe. See you later.